Hello to each and every one of you that are coming up here on live. I just want to discuss something that I saw on IG. Someone sent to me. And I just want to talk about it just for a little bit. I want to know what your commentary is on it as well. Um, the Pace Sisters, for those of you that do not know, the Pace Sisters are like the... When it comes to the Clark sisters, there is no other female group that is compared to the Clark sisters ever except the Pace sisters. So, um, those of you that do not know who they are, by me saying that, you probably have a good idea of the level of talent and the level of capability, agility that these ladies have. The Pace sisters are just as phenomenal. See, there's a sound that a Clark sister has. I don't care if she's singing lead on somebody else's project and separate from the sisters, from the collective. You can hear when it's a Clark. It's, it's just a certain sound. Almost like the whinings. You know, you can tell when it's a whinings because they all whine. They all, all of them whine. Yeah, they, they all whine. Which we love the way they whine so well. Um, especially Marvin is probably, him and BB is probably the standout. Well, CC. Well, you know, the whinings. But it's the same way when it comes to the pace. You know when a pace sister, you in the church community, you know when a pace sister got the mic because there's something in their throat that is unmatched and can only be compared to itself. I mean, you you you, it, you only can compare it to itself. Um, but when comparison does happen with the Clark sisters, it's only the mention of the Pace sisters that you will hear because they are just as phenomenal, um, just as exceptional as the Clark family contribution um, has been. It's like the Hawkins. I mean, it's that thing. But see, you have to know gospel music to know what I'm talking about. It's a certain sound that the Hawkins have. It's a certain sound that the Winans have. The Clark family have. And them darn paces. And I'm leaving out some others. But anyway, <clears throat> this big debacle concerning the collaboration between Beyonce and Twinkie has been a hot topic all week long. And it really started to blaze when a Kojic bishop, pastor, superintendent, I think. You know, I think he's a bishop now. I don't know. But it's from where I'm from in North Carolina. Basically said, this is my opinion. He basically was saying that Beyonce sort of desecrated, is that the right word? Desecrated um, a song that we love in that holy will, <clears throat> preaching Dorinda and Karen on the leads. And he basically said we ought to speak out about it. So it sounded like to me he wanted the church of God and Christ particularly to make a statement um, about how this was not okay that Beyonce done this or that Twinkie okayed it. So since then, culture people has been taken to online and saying whatever they want to say. And one of those culture people was one of the members of the Pace Sister Groups. I'm going to read to you what she said. Yes, rest in peace, LaShawn and Duranis. So this is what she said. Her name is Lydia Pace. I think Lydia is an alto in the group. I think she is. Okay. <clears throat> it said, I met Lydia many years ago when Duranis came to my church in North Carolina. This is what she said. She said, but the spiritual man, the spiritual mature Christian judges all things, questions, examines, and applies what the Holy Spirit reveals. 
yet is himself judged by no one. The unbeliever cannot judge and understand the believer's spiritual nature. It's the Amplified Bible, 1 Corinthians 2, 15. And then she put hashtag guard your church girl, guard your church boy. Holiness is right. And then she put Bishop Wooten. And she put a clip of Bishop Wooten and other clips of some Church of God and Christ um, clippings. I don't know. Um, I don't know everybody these clips, but like baptism and just church fellowship and things of that nature. So, of course, people went in in the comment section and on their platforms. So then she went live. And she went live with the daughter of LaShawn Pace. And basically what they discussed, this is her here, ain't she pretty? That's that Pace face. <laughs> Cheekbones. So, because she look like Leslie right there, don't she? Don't she look like Leslie? Hey. And she sound, that Pace voice, they all talk hey, the like. Like the Clark sisters. Hi, y'all. <laughs> you see? Blessings to see that, you. That, that, hey, they, that you thing doing? is in the blood, and they're so blessed I'm um, with that talent. Um, so she went live with LaShawn's daughter, who sounds like LaShawn. Let me play you this, this clip. They, you know the part where uh, when God is in the building? And LaShawn come in, listen to her daughter singing and sounding just like her mom. What is in the blood, Jiren? My Jesus. So this is why I said what I said the way I said when I opened this live. You know how phenomenal the Clark sisters are. This is the only group of ladies that's ever compared to the Clark. Don't nobody else compare nobody else to the Clark sisters. Durantis and LaShawn. Oh my God. Then when you add in there, Phyllis because see, Phyllis, she's older now. She don't sound like the way she used to sound, but Phyllis was nuts. Then you got Leslie, and then, oh my God, you add June. It just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And they all can sing. Every last one of them can sing. Bruh, the talent is crazy. But let me say this, and because some of you may not know who the Pace Sisters are. And I, this is how I see it. The reason why the Pace Sisters are not as known at, at um, like the Clark Sisters is basically because, in my opinion, their convictions. See, my mama and her sisters got this quartet female group that sang all over. Malachi, Malachi wanted to sign them. But they didn't because of their personal convictions. Called the Fleming Sisters. Catherine Fleming, Ozell, and the Fleming Sisters. If you're on the East Coast, you know who that is. And they did not become a worldwide known brand because of their personal convictions. And I feel like that the Pace Sisters the same thing. Yeah, Latrice. Oh, Latrice, you know Latrice can sing. Melanda, all of them can sing. Every last, every last, Melanda. A lot of times she sounds like Sean. They, they, they all can sing. But anyway, I ain't gonna look down the comment section. Y'all get me off topic. But anyway, their personal convictions. I, I don't think, I, except for Latrice, I don't think I ever seen any of the paces in a pair of trousers. They want no pants wearing around there. And y'all remember, that's how the Clark sister mamas was years ago. They didn't get to wearing pants to up in age. So some people may say the Clark sisters compromise with their attire, makeup, earrings, and stuff. 
but the pay sisters didn't or the pay sister never embraced that fully um I remember when Sean was away traveling more, she was into earrings and makeup. Then near the end, she like stopped doing it. And then she spoke out on it before she died about how she, she had convictions concerning it. So in my opinion, the Pay sisters, the only reason why they did not go as far was because of their personal, very strong convictions. Their convictions are really like the old school Church of God in Christ that's very similar to the old school apostolic. And I think that's the reason why they just didn't get that same level of recognition. Although everybody knows when God is in the building. <laughs> everybody knows when God is in the building. And that whole first blue CD, I think it's called You Know, which I think just turned 30 years um, old. But if you listen to what she said in her in her um, caption, you understand her convictions are very deep. They're very deep. And just like Bishop Wooden, his convictions are very deep. So that's what they believe. They believe that this collaboration and using the title Church Girl and then putting Twinkie Song with the ratchet lyrics was... Um, disrespectful and that it was what well, he used the word sacrilege I don't think we should make Lydia Pace Bishop Wooten and anybody else who spoke out I don't think we should make them wrong that's what they believe and they feel I understand it I understand it but at the same time, I have another brain that thinks about the world at large. And you would be surprised how many people will hear Beyonce's song, knowing about the sample, especially now everybody knows about the sample, and then we'll go and listen to, Lord, I want to be rooted and grounded in thee, Lord, in me. And get drawn into a whole nother head head space spiritually. So I don't know if we can or if we should fight so much for our separation and being the royal priesthood and the peculiar people that it keep us from the strategy surrounding evangelism, different modes and ways of evangelism. I think that is something that um, happens with a whole lot of whole whole lot of um, strict, holy, you know, Christians. That's the best way I can put it. And they're not really open to things being being done a different way or a new new way. So I don't think we should make people like Bishop Wooten wrong. Because it's their conviction is what they think. I don't think Lydia is wrong, and, and but I do think that they could bear just considering, consider, just consider, versus fighting so much for the sanctity of the song. I mean, really think about that. What if what we want to do is reach people, but we fighting for the separation from. In thy holy will with church girl and the way Beyonce done it. Why do we get so distracted by these fights? What, what are we fighting for really? If Jesus is Jesus and God is God and all powerful. It's impossible for Beyonce to detain a song that comes from God. It's impossible for her to, to do any damage to the song itself. The song exists in holiness and comes out of the breath of God, the mind of God, anyway. So it, it has authority and power even on the track. I mean, I just think that sometimes we we be swatting at gnats and swallowing elephants at the same time. That's that's what I think. So I'm not making them wrong. At all. 
but I would like for us as church people to just open up and consider new methods and ways of getting our message and what we do before the masses. And then they can choose each this day whom they're going to serve. That's, that's what I think. At the same time, I also think that Beyonce should have considered. <laughs> I think she should have considered. And maybe she did how this could offend some people. Maybe she looked at it and said, I can see it can offend a lot of people, but I could win more. You know, so maybe she considered that, maybe she didn't. But but if she didn't, I just want to go on record saying, I wish she had considered the people that could, could or would or has now offended. Another thing in the live that she said, which I heard... Leslie said, no, 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 yeah, no, no, yes, it was Leslie say, and someone else in the Pace family, and it's something that they have a disdain for, that they hate people in the comment section making it the Clark sisters against the Pace sisters. They, they don't like the Clark sisters versus the Pace sister thing. They hate it. They don't want it to be a competition. They despise it. I've heard at least two of them say that online. If you follow them, you've seen it. So they really do not like the comparison and like to put one against the other. That also came out in when Leslie was addressing, not when she read Tamar, not that for talking about Duran's wig, but when she came out after the funeral and done a live and people were saying that she was throwing off to the Pace sisters because it says some people said they're going to be there and they weren't there because one of the Clark sisters' name was on the program. But that same night, they had a concert somewhere else. So they were at the concert and that was online the same day as the service was streamed online. So they couldn't be there and they thought that Leslie was throwing off to one of the Clark sisters. So it's really the people around and in between that keep stuff kicked up. You remember I put online about do you like the Pay Sisters or the Clark Sisters? Who you think is the best? Who's the best to you? And the sister, God, what is her name? It's the one that said that she's no longer same gender loving. Not Lydia, not Leslie. God, what is her name? Can somebody tell me her name? Dwyer. The wire came came live and in, she inboxed me and coming up under there ended up blocking me because I was saying to her, she said, quit comparing us and quit um, saying who you like the best. At this time online, everybody was doing the versus things. Who who do you like? Who do you like? And versus me saying versus, I want to say, you know, which one do you like the most? Ooh, she did not like that. She hated it and called me all kinds of different things. Well, let me say this. We're going to always compare singers. And we're going to always com compare groups. I know the Pay Sisters do not like it. But you need to see it as an honor. Because you know the Clark Sisters are world-renowned superstars and legends. So to be compared and put in the same sentence with them is basically people saying, we love you too. And we see your contribution just as much as we see the Clark sisters. And it's okay for competition to be involved when it comes to the talents that are in the church. That's the problem that a lot of people have with Sunday best. We shouldn't be competing. Why the hell not? Because some of us are better than others. That competition does not have to be offensive. You making it offensive. You know, competition is, is a compliment. Look at all these powerful, great gifts we got. Let's choose the best out of this or who we feel like is the best out of this. I really wish, and, 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 it, and they've done that. She started comparison with the Pacers and the Clarks, just the way it did, and just really went totally negative concerning it and shouldn't have taken it like that because it was a compliment. 
And people threw away the Sunday best because it was competition. You know, this, this, we, we, but this is the thing that killed me. We compare and compete when it's not on camera. <laughs> Come on now. Don't help me out in them, in them comment section. When that lead, that lead vocalist missed, we said they should have had Sister Jerry to do that because she, Sister Jerry do better than her. But she good, but she ain't good as Sister Jerry. You, we always done that. Like my job, Larry Live, I only discuss what is public. But some of the folk in the church, they discuss the stuff that's rumored, ain't even verified if it's the truth, and spread it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Lord. That's, that's a little hypocritical. It's a little hypocritical, you know. We even do it when it comes to the repast at the funeral. Who made the macaroni and cheese? Who made the coleslaw? Was it the Johnson household? Because they know how to make it over there. Ain't even their cabbage. Well, this is, what, this is what we do anyway. So if somebody make a business out of it or a show out of it, then hell, just enjoy turn the channel. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So I just want to tell y'all about that. You can go over there to her page and read it. Don't go over there and say nothing bad and, and mean now. No, let me see. What is her IG? Okay, her IG is... You can watch her live, her and, and LaShun's daughter. It's Lydia Pace. That's it. Yeah, just Lydia, L-Y-D-I-A, Pace, P-A-C-E, on IG. And you can watch the conversation between her and LaShun's daughter. Okay? All right. Let me see what y'all saying in here. Mm. Yes, we tend to major on minor things and mine on the major things. Yeah, true. Yes, we would love to have a Pace Sister documentary. That would be superb. Mm -hmm. All right, going to let y'all go. Take care. And I love you.